Now we're going to show you how to quickly set up the PowerSoft units with networking. Let's say you just got them in the box. You mounted six of them in a rack, got them powered up, got them networked together. First thing we do is go to the front of one of the amplifiers, go to settings, Network settings. Address mode. And verify all the amplifiers say automatic. Go back. Then on the computer, after you've loaded the Armonia software, go to your network settings. Go to your local area connection that you're connected, properties, internet protocol, properties, and verify that it says all obtain IP address automatically. That would be using a DHCP switch or a direct connection. You do not need crossover cables. Also, if you do not have a switch, and you're directly connected and looping through the ports on the amplifier, make sure on alternate configuration it says automatic private IP address. You can then get out of that. The one other thing you should check is your Windows firewall connection once you verified you have an automatic IP address assigned with the direct connection. That's attainable down here where it says Windows Firewall. You want to go allow a feature or a program through Windows Firewall. So look on there and make sure that those boxes are checked for an exception. You can then open Armenia. Go to Online Devices. Hit Discovery. And all the amplifiers you network together should show up. We can hit add all, put them in the workspace. Next, I recommend separating them. And now we are going to locate them to have a specific purpose in mind, setting up your system. So, to locate them, there are a couple different ways to locate them. What I'm going to do is actually press the front button as this is the top amp in the rack and it glows on the screen. So I'm going to bring that up to make that the top. I'll take the second amplifier and bring that as the second amplifier. I will create the third amplifier and put them in order as you have in the rack for simple noting. Fifth, so they came the exact opposite. Okay, at this point we can select the preset for each amplifier. And I'm going to say for these first two top amplifiers, I am going to make those a monitor system. Uh, and I'm going to pick a preset from EAW. Uh, and if, to do that, I will go to the gray box settings. I will add all my amplifiers in. And what I'm looking for is serial number 8.3 and 9.3. But first, I need to find my file that has the gray box settings. I will go to my micro wedge settings. Let's say micro wedge 15. And I'm going to set them into serial number 83 and 93, which are right here. I'm going to make none LF and HF, LF and HF on 93. And I'm going to hit no changes on everything else, apply. It's going to ask me if I really want to do that to those specific models, and I'm going to say yes. I'm then going to load other types of speakers in other boxes. But before I do that, I am going to change the name to Mon 
one for the top amp and mon number two so I can keep track and know what's loaded in the amp. I am then going to go into each one of those amplifiers, take a look, everything looks good, and I am going to check the input routing. I want to make sure the analog DSP out is selected because I'm running analog for this project. I'm going to take a channel source for each amplifier, it's channel 1, because they just need a single input to drive this bi-amplified wedge. Now I'm going to go to the second amplifier, monitor 2, and check the same thing. Yes, it is set for analog DSP out, but I want to change the channel source to channel 1, looking at the gain. The next thing I'm going to do is to see if I have access to the limiters. No. Let's make sure the damping control is off. That is off. And now I am going to save this as a preset in the amplifier. So in number one, I call it micro wedge 15 blue. And I'm going to hit save. That way it will show up as the current preset in the amplifier. Now I'm going to go to the other amplifier and do the same thing. I will check and see if the damping control is off, which I do want, and I will go to presets. And I will create a new preset, micro wedge 15 blue. I will save. Now that's done. Go back to the workspace. For these two bottom amplifiers, I'm going to make those subwoofer amplifiers. And instead of using the AW subs, we have JBL subs today. So I will highlight the amplifier like so, hit import, go to my presets for KDSP that you get from PowerSoft, go to the 4880 80 hertz two channel settings. Hit this and open, and it says, do I really want to override the current settings? Yes. The second amplifier, I want to do the same thing. So I'm going to copy this amplifier. Well, actually, before I do that, I will go and look in the amplifier to make sure I have analog DSP out, which is something I want. Channel source from channel 1 to both channels, that is exactly what I want. We'll go back to the workspace and a quick way to the workspace is that button there copy these settings and put them into this amplifier do I really want it to green settings looks like we have some ground hum here which is a separate issue uh, which I we won't deal with right this moment we'll go back to the workspace and now I'm going to name this one sub number one. And I'm going to go in this amplifier under presets. And I'm going to name this 4880. 80. So, and hit save. There it is. And I'm going to go into the other amplifier in the presets. Hit pick a slot 4880 dash, uh, no dash, 80. Oh, space. So, Save. 
Okay, now I have two more amplifiers to go. And for these, I was going to put in the bottom one, an LF line array. And we'll go back to JBL. So import, 4889, two channel low, 80 hertz crossover. Do I really want to do that? Yes. Mute. I'm going to check the input if that is correct and channel source from channel one. Both of these channels will be getting low. I'm then going to go to presets and put a preset in there. 4889 low LF LF for channel one and two and hit save. There you go. Then I'm going to go back to the workspace and change the name. Uh, line array LF. And this amplifier, I am going to put the line array HF. So I go to 4889, 80, M and H. Do I really want to do current settings? Yes. Yeah, I will change the name. LA M dash M F. We'll go. Let's check the DSP. This is engaged, correct? All on channel one. So I'm just hooking up on channel one. I will go to presets. Save that as a preset in that amp. 48889 MFHF. Save. I now have a whole system. So now we have the whole system program. One quick way to take a look is on system list. And you'll see I have sub number 2, K10, 4880 sub preset loaded. It is muted. I'll mute this amplifier as well. The signal present are related to grounds on the inputs at the moment. Then I have the line array or the 4889 LF, LF, the line array MHHF, and I have my two monitors. The next thing we'll do is set up a couple groups, and we can put these in the racks as well. But uh, let's set up some groups. So I'll put two groups, one for monitors, one for mains, or subs and LF. Um, here we go. I'll change the names. Uh, monitors. And main. I'll assign channels. Then I'll assign channels with the monitors. I then might want to curtail some other changes. One might be in the EQ or delay. And I might even want to delay my subs a little farther. Um, going back to the workspace. And I also have my group overview, which is showing my monitor channels below and now my main channels below. Uh, what's muted, what is not. And you're ready to start passing some signal.